What up guys, my name is Carl and today I'm going to be talking about Godzilla, the, uh, Ed, the uh, Edward Garris Godzilla. And I, I don't know if I did a movie review for this movie or not, I don't think I did, but I would do it anyway for you guys and for me. So Godzilla, the, 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 I think the 2014 Godzilla, I believe that's when it, when it first came out. So Godzilla, Godzilla comes... Uh, it appeared for the first time in a, in the United States. And, uh, I was yeah in the United States. I think it was in Hawaii and then in California and then Nevada. So let's talk about what I did like about this movie. You know what I think about this movie? I did not appreciate this movie when I first saw it, or maybe and even a couple of times after watching the movie, did not appreciate it as. As I do now, when I look, when I watch it again, I feel like this movie really, really pay homage to the the earliest Godzilla movie. You know, the one that was made in in Japan, uh, especially uh, Godzilla King of Monster, I believe, uh, the one that I did recently, the movie review that I did recently, and this movie it has, I think, uh, Edward, what's it, Edward? Edward Garris Garrett Edward Garris Edward I believe that's the director's name I could be wrong I apologize but I think he really captured the the uh, the horror the the nightmare the the nightmare sequence it's just really well done it is I think it's what better it is it's not as epic as King of Monsters but here is it's subtle is it's good so let's talk about what, why I like this movie. I like the, like I said, they have this, the horror theme, the uh, nightmare theme. It's, it's dark, it's, you know, gloomy, it's, 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 you don't know what's, what's there. I like that, it's, it's good. What else did I like? I like the, 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 you know, family, Brian Cranston, and his son, his wife. You get that whole tragedy thing. And then his father and his son relationship in Dr. Isozoa. I'm sorry if I say his name wrong. And we get to follow his uh, his his journey too. And we see what's going on. We get to see the military uh, get involved. We get to follow them too. And you know what's going on where it's not like it's chaotic. It is chaotic in the movie, but we follow, you know, the commander, the admiral. You know, uh, or try to figure out like how to fight this these creature, the mutos. Uh, uh, I forgot was what, what it stands for, but the mutos. And then Godzilla. You know, I like that because we get to see it's like progressive. You know, we it's linear. It's not quite linear, but we see that in a linear fashion. We get to see where where the the creature came from, where they were going, and then. You get to see the fallacy of human beings. It's like we can control all these monsters, but uh, no. Uh, the, what, what the word for it is? Uh, there's a word for it. Is uh, there's a word for it. I can't remember the name. The word for it, but it's it's that it's like fallacy. It's a uh, hubris. That's the word. Hubris. The hubris is uh, we have our hubris that we can tame this or control the these being, you know, these creatures that are building size big creatures, right? So I like that and then the the, the fight scene here are very gigantic. It feels gigantic, it feels big, it feels like a nightmare. You are in a nightmare. You 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 are env enveloped by these giant creatures and explosion and footsteps and screeching and this sort of thing you know uh, it's it just feel like you are in a total nightmare you know a total it's a wild it's a good nightmare but it's a it's a wild crazy explosive nightmare you know because you've seen creatures that are, you know it's tall as a building and they're fighting they're duking it out and you got nowhere to go because these creatures are so big and i like that here you get a set that what this movie does a really good job is a sense of scale. You know, you see that you see comparison between how big the the creature are, you know, between between the 
the human being or even the, uh, the size of an airplanes or even tanks. Uh, this sort of thing like uh, Gary Edward really pay attention to this to, to the size the scaling of the size to, to this this way we at the audience understand how big this creature can be and how fast they can move how much destructive power they have so it's really well done and those sequence that we get is really really good it's really it's almost like I would say sweet when it comes that you see it it's really very gratifying it's really 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 good because you get to see us well you get a little bit we'll see what's going on but it's epic it's it's grander it's, it's just being you know because you see you don't see the creature but you see the foot of the creatures and your you is that the the uh, the perspective is different here you know you it's like helicopter or to the tv because they just they're just big for for us to really see or understand to see them, to see the creature with our own eyes, we would have to be so far away to see the, the creature themselves fighting. What I was uh the movie is tragically sad. You know, Brian Crescent character dies. Uh, you know, there are some really sacred moments in in this one in the movie. It, it's I didn't really appreciate it, but now that I'm watching it again, I appreciate it. Uh, what else there like uh i like the fight between the two mutos and him and godzilla i meant godzilla uh the fire breath uh, the 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 ending the it's just it's a good movie it's overall it's a very it's a horror movie it's a horror horror movie suspense movie it's kind of violence in some way and it's sad too in 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 some way too so let's talk about what i did not like about this movie what i did not like about this movie is that it's it's a little too dark uh you don't get to see the the you know the creatures uh the kaiju i would call them kaiju at at nighttime i wish they have some of the building light up kind of like you know king versus godzilla versus king kong or king of monster or even like pacific rim when you there's light and you can it's kind of well lit when you can see the creature fighting and duking it out you know that would be amazing i think that would have been better even better so we get to see what's going on between these two these two characters or these three characters of monster fighting on in this in the city you know that would have been more interesting that would have been elevated the movie a little bit more on top of being a horror movie or not horror slash nightmare movie so guys what was the rating i guess this movie i give it a 7 out of 10 i really enjoyed it it's a good Godzilla movie. Now that I watch it again many years later, I appreciate it why uh, Gareth, Gareth Edwards chose to do go on this path to tell from sort of a, 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 a in a sort of a nightmare nightmare and horror sense of a film that we don't get to see everything because we are swear insignificant where it's the size of the end comparison to Godzilla or even the Mutos so we are insignificant and we are, we are trying we are in this nightmare experiences this nightmare and horror for us as, as the audience so I like that that uh, that that direction that uh, Gareth Edward chose I think he's under he's underappreciated for this movie because it's when you think about the grand scheme of thing this movie is really well told well told the action, the sequence, the sizing, uh, uh, the horror, the 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 horror aesthetic behind it is really good. Seven out of ten, guys. I highly recommend you rewatch it again with patience and time and understanding. Try to understand what's going on in the movie itself and understand. The, try to understand the characters, and I think you will enjoy this a little bit more than the others because this is more. I would say it's almost like character and monster driven where the others are more character driven a more monster driven which is okay I'm okay with that but here is more of the two and, and he tried his best to put the two together and I'm okay with that so 7 out of 10 guys please like thumbs up share subscribe and browse to my youtube channels I have a lot of content for you guys to check out please do so thank you so much and take care guys bye bye